Wow. I'm, I just don't have words for this. This is awesome. Well, good morning. Today is going to be a fun day because we are taking the old boat out for the first time for a hunt. So I've got the PPF 6.5 horse on here, and this is the beaver tail final attack. And somebody messaged me on Snapchat last night saying, hey, what's the name of the boat? I have not come up with a name for it, so we will do what I've done for all the other boats. Drop a comment down below giving me a name for this little layout boat, and uh, I'll pick a winner. And it'll be fun. So you get to name the boat. So I've got two dozen teal decoys and a couple spinners. we got old Charlie, the spoony spinner up over there, and a teal spinner. Waiters, gun, shells, just the bare necessities, so hopefully she cranks on the first try and we're able to shoot a couple of teal. So basically today's hunt is just kind of a winging it hunt. I saw a decent sized group of teal yesterday when I took the boat out for the first time and uh, I was like, you know, it wouldn't be a bad thing to just go out and try and shoot a couple of them. So that's what we're going to do. Not super high expectations, but you know, I've had hunts where I've, like two or three years ago, I did a recap on it the, a couple weeks ago. Um, I, I saw like 10, 10 teal in a marsh, went and hunted it the next day and limited it out, and it was just absolutely insane. So, hoping for the same thing today, but we got to get on the road and get to our spot and have some fun. All right, boat's in the water. Check her out. Got the lights on the front looking good. Got the backrest, all the gears loaded up. This is going to be a great trial run for this thing. Trying to figure out how to hunt out of it and load it down. I've got a feeling um, loading decoys on this thing is going to be difficult, so I'll probably have to figure out how to pull a sled behind me in this thing. So if you guys have this boat and you do that or you have a special way you load your decoys that works for you and you have a similar setup to mine, Shoot me a message on Instagram with some pictures or something and or down in the comments. Let me know how you guys do it because I'm sure there's plenty of ways to do it, but I want to know what works for you guys, so that's going to be very helpful to me. But we got to get going. We got less than an hour until shooting time. And hopefully we shoot, shoot a teal today. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But like I said, this is just kind of like a trial run for the boat in a hunting situation because I saw a little group of teal that might possibly show up today so who knows this will be fun though trying out the boat for the first time first time for hunting well after a short little jaunt we are set up and ready to go we've got two dozen teal decoys out two spinners old charlie's front and center charlie the spoonie and uh feels good to be back man that boat ride was easy i'm very happy with this motor already like doing that little thing so quickly like it would have taken me easily 30 minutes to get over here in a kayak it took me like five minutes with the motor so definitely a big upgrade getting to spots quicker and uh looks like we're gonna have a nice sunrise today not too hazy from california thanks titus and um yeah two dozen decoys we got a little bit of wind not a whole lot we're back in this little cut so if we see something great, if we don't, I'm figuring things out about this boat. I need to figure out a better system for these lights. They're angled down a little too much, so it's hard to see out in front of me. So I'll have to rig something up to get them to face upwards a little bit more. But other than that, we're ready to hunt. I'm not sure what time it is. I'm sure it's getting pretty close. We got sun coming up, so time to hunker in here. I'll show you guys the blind once it's deployed. <sighs> Set up for the first hunt in the final attack like i said if you guys want to name the boat drop a comment down below with your suggestion for the name and i'll pick one of your guys's comments for the name of the boat so this is definitely going to be a, a, a good experience here figuring out how to hunt out of this thing figure out how shallow i can run it like i'm in like ankle deep water at this point oh there's a group of teal right there nope not teal those are big ducks. It's about shooting light, so we better hunker down. Ducks are flying, obviously. Hopefully we can get a couple. 
I'll be so happy just to get one duck on this hunt. Like it's just one of those get out, experience it, try the new thing and see how it goes. So let's hunker down and see if we can get us a teal. I got a poop. This is not good. Oh boy, this is not good. Yeah, the blind doesn't look too bad. I just stick out really bad out here. Not much to blend in with. It should do for now. Water levels are pretty low, if you guys can see. Makes it difficult to find some place to tuck up in and hide. Oh, son of a gun. Dang it, that was my shot. Go boys. Okay. That wasn't ideal. Um but we did it. A couple blue wings. Sweet. I am shaking. I'm so excited right now. Holy smokes, guys. <sighs> Honestly, I can't believe they came back into the spread. I uh, was fidgeting with this carabiner. Got, I was switching shoulders because I noticed that it was um, going to probably get in the way of my shooting. <sighs> I was messing with that, and then these two teal came in. Success, baby! Success. Even though it was some water spots, but uh, it was kind of hard to see them with how low they were there. So take what you can get, I guess. <laughs> I always said I was going to be happy with one. Well, we got two. Low-key was hoping these were banded. Yes! <gasps> yes, yes, yes! Wow! Oh my goodness. Green wing. Oh my gosh, guys. What the heck? Oh, looks like another group out in the distance. Man, oh man, oh man. This is crazy. Nuts. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, that took a long time for the birds to show up, but we got three ducks. 
we're halfway to a limit. Like, I thought I'd shoot maybe like one bird. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, like this is way beyond my expectations for this hunt. <sighs> that second group came out of nowhere. Like, I'm glad I had shells in my gun at that point. Holy smokes. The first two, I was busy messing around with this thing because it got caught in one of these loops and I was like, I don't want that, so I want to go out. Stupid reason, but <clears throat> that's how it goes. Oh my goodness. They came through, I pulled up, I was like, ah, too late. Gave him a quick call and they came back. <sighs> I was not expecting that second group. I didn't see them until they were there. And then uh, luckily that little green wing was flying a little bit too slow. I was able to snipe him. I love these hunts when you're just like, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Seems like whenever I do that, I do fairly well. But like just going off of, yeah, I saw a little group of teal back in here yesterday. Might as well hunt it. Now we're halfway to a limit. <laughs> I am so happy right now. We'll show you guys the birds. Couple, couple nice blue wings, man. These, these look good. Um, there's another blue wing. Pretty birds, pretty birds. And then our little greener winger. Wow. I'm, I just don't have words for this. This is awesome. I'm starting to think that was about all we're gonna see today. It's about 8.30. I could stick it out a little longer if I wanted to, but I think it's time to pack up. Um, when we get back home, I'm going to go over all the gear that I was using today and give you guys a little bit more insight on uh, the boat and all the decoys and everything that I like to use. Some of you guys might find that helpful. So I'll do a full rundown of the stuff I brought today and hopefully that's helpful for you guys. But time to get things packed up and motor on out of here. Uh, this is a fun hunt, man. Just, just on a whim. Three, three ducks on a whim. This was a blast. I'm, I'm so happy. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the gear that I used on this hunt. I've got pretty bare bones minimums for this. I mean, I kind of modeled it off of what I use on the kayaks and just used it in this boat. So first and foremost, we're gonna talk about these. And these are my waders. These are the brand new Rogers Elite 2-in-1 breathable waders. I don't have the insulation in them because it's teal season, but um, Loving these waders. If you guys have a pair of waders and you want to take care of them, it's best to hang them up by the feet and hang them upside down like that and make sure you clean the mud off the boots. And that'll kind of help them last a little longer. And then on my waders, I've got my teal call, which I've done a couple of videos on this and included it in quite a few. So I don't know if those two teal that I shot first would have come back without the teal call. Very well might have, but uh, Probably didn't hurt to give them a little toot on the call. Um, and of course I got my wader bag, which I've talked about in other videos. Just kind of nice to keep the mud out of the back seat and keep the waders from getting punctured. Up next, we've got this. This is my Rogers dry bag backpack kind of deal. It's uh, really good for the kayak. It might be a little bit too big for this final attack. I was having a hard time getting everything situated to where I could sit comfortably. And this thing, I don't know if I'm gonna end up be using this with this, but in the kayak for sure. It's just really nice to have such a big bag. I can keep all of my hunting equipment in this, like my shells, call, camera gear, all that stuff, and it stays bone dry inside of this. And then this morning I was wearing my Final Approach Akuda jacket. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we got a empty box of shells that spilled in there but we got I was shooting the Kent Teal Steel number fives and I've never shot fives before and I tell you what guys I am really digging these shells I used them for the first time last week holy smokes these fives really pack a punch I normally shoot low brass sixes two and three quarters those are three inch fives high brass so 
Packs a little bit more of a punch. Got the spinning wings, wings, GoPro, and then of course we've got my hearing protection. These are my Tetra Alpha Shields. I really dig these things. They make it so easy to hear everything you want to hear in a hunt, but also be able to protect your hearing from loud calling and gunshots. I've talked about those all last season. I really love them. And uh, if you guys are interested, you can use the coupon code OUTDOORLIMITS10 and save 10% on your order. But uh, think of it as an investment. They are expensive, but I've really enjoyed using them. They are the best hearing protection that I have used. Okay, moving on. This is something that I always bring with me on every single hunt. This is a little dry box, and it's where I keep all my GoPros and camera batteries and all that kind of fun stuff. So it keeps everything dry. I don't have to worry about equipment getting wet. Up next on this hunt, I took two spinners. We got Charlie the Spoonie, and then we got a little Teal Mojo. So I used those today. The Teal were landing exactly where I wanted them to, so I don't know if the spinners did anything, but it doesn't hurt. This is an important one that I needed to bring. These are my Teal decoys. Uh, I've probably invested around $30 in teal decoys. I bought every single one of these on sale and I just ran two dozen of them. One dozen green wing, one dozen blue wing. It seems to get the job done. And we've got our mojo poles covered in mud. Now I'm covered in mud. Um, I always like to use one of these when I'm laying in the boat. Um, it's a little shell holder thing. And I usually keep that next to me. Holds all my shells, so quick and easy, able to grab them. Sometimes I throw them on my waders, but most of the time I just have this sitting next to me in the boat. Um, here's a good one. This blind would be miserable, or this boat would be miserable without this. This is the backrest for the uh, final attack. I have some issues with it. It did come with pins and you gotta drill through it so then it doesn't move. So I'm definitely gonna need to do that because if you bump this thing even slightly, it pops off and falls down and you're fighting that all day. So definitely gonna need to fix that. Those are some big teal, man. Now we've got my ox beam lights. These are actually, I harvested them off of the uh, Duck Discovery, which is my Discovery 119. So sportsman canoe from Old Town. Took those lights off of that, put them on here. I'm definitely going to need to figure out a way to angle them up a little bit more. They're kind of angled down, which that kind of makes it a little bit difficult to see everything in front of me, especially on that lake that I was hunting. There's a lot of stumps and you got to really watch out for that. I took it real slow this morning just so that I didn't hit anything. Made it there safe and sound, made it back safe and sound. All good in my book. Now, to power the lights, I get questions on Snapchat and Instagram and YouTube comments all the time about what I use to power my lights. So these lights came with a wiring harness and I keep everything contained in a little ammo box. But if this is what I use to power my lights. It's a little 12 volt deer feeder battery. I've got one linked in the description. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you click on it, you buy it. I do get a little bit of kickback on that, so it helps me get a little more money to spend on boats and stuff. So I really like using this. It's light. You're not lugging around a big deep cycle battery. It gets the job done with these little LED lights. And of course, we've got the old faithful, the old trusty dusty. My Winchester SX4, shot a lot of birds with this gun, and uh, that was the case today. The choke I've got in here is a Carlson's mid-range black cloud choke tube. I was shooting a lot of black clouds last year, and I decided to pick this up and try it out, and uh, I think it does pretty well. It's definitely tighter, closer. Um, I'd say it's more of like between a modified and a full choke. I usually shoot just a modified, that's why I got the mid-range, but Definitely getting the job done. Smoked that green wing with those fives, man. That was, that was pretty fun. All right, we're gonna move on to the big ticket item of this hunt, and that was 
the final attack. If you guys haven't named it, leave a comment down below. There's some things I like about this boat, and there's things I don't like about this boat, but uh, definitely going to have to work out some more kinks. I've been doing that yesterday and today, just trying to figure this out and get it ready for when we're hunting mallards. Got to stay hidden, get there, deploy the blind, like make it seamless, you know? Um, one issue I've had is like the, the door, the door of the blind slips off like that, so I might need to figure something out. This piece right here, it'll come down in the water, and this will act like a big parachute catching a bunch of water in there. So that's no bueno. Kind of bolt pulls the back end of the boat down, which is never good. Um, got it grasped in. I don't know if I showed you guys that. I uh, been updating everybody on Snapchat. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, be sure to do that. But got it grasped in with the final approach whoop grass. I might need to trim up the bottom of this thing. I didn't realize this thing sat so close to the water. So um, when it gets wet, it gets kind of heavy and awkward and just kind of gross, honestly. So trimming up that bottom edge can really save you a lot of water getting inside your boat when you're packing up. But uh, now let's talk about this guy. This is my PPF wood duck. Just unboxed it yesterday, took it out for the first test drive yesterday, took it out for the first hunt today. It's doing really well. Uh, doesn't start on one pull. I gotta kind of finagle this little choke and uh, get it just right, but throttle is great. It's got a little like bike handle throttle on there. I always clip that on me because a little eight foot boat, you never know what's gonna happen. Don't want it flying away. Um, it doesn't want to stay idling. Like, it'll idle for a while, and then it'll die. No big deal. I think the more and more I run this, the better it's going to be. But Nice little short shaft. It fits really well in this boat. It turns great, powers the boat great. All in all, I mean, I'm super impressed with this thing. It's really well built. Stainless steel prop. Like... I don't see myself having any issues with the frame of this thing. Um, you know, maybe on down the line we might have to do some regular maintenance on the motor, but PPF does a great job of putting these things together. It's solid, man. And uh, I'm really hoping to get some more hunts out of it. If you guys have this boat and you've got a mud motor on it, tell me how you guys like to hide the motor itself. Like, I'm not too concerned about the OD stuff. Um, but like the black and the silver and all that, I think come late season mallards, that might be an issue. So let me know how you guys cover that up. Did you just paint it? Did you make like a little cover for it? Let me know. Um, and if you guys have this boat, let me know about any mods you've done to it, different ways to make the blind work better and uh, things like that. But all in all, we had a darn good hunt. Three teal, two blue wings, one green wing. Cannot complain about that, man. It was just like on a whim. It's like I saw some teal. I was like, yeah, I'll give it a go in the morning, see what happens. Rolled out of bed at like 5.30, <laughs> and it just, it worked, man. It was awesome. That was a really fun hunt. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And uh, be sure to follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. And sometimes, like on Snapchat, you get a little bit of behind the scenes uh, content. So I didn't realize I never showed you guys on like YouTube the blind grassed up and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one.